hey what's up guys welcome to my uh, new tutorial on uh, adjacency matrix and uh, incidence matrix so in this tutorial I'm gonna tell you what uh, uh, how to how to draw a matrix uh, out of a graph so here is the graph and uh, first we will uh, look at the adjacency matrix so adjacency matrix helps us in uh, identifying the relationship among the vertices so you can see that uh, this is the first vertex vertex and uh, it it is not having a self loop so v1 is not having a self loop so we are not having one in this position so there is uh, no relationship among v1 with itself so it is a zero then v1 is connected to v2 so we are having v1 1 at this position because v1 is connected to v2 and <coughs> then v1 is also connected to v3 v1 is also connected to v4 <coughs> v1 is also connected to v5 so there is one in this position so if one everywhere except v1 similarly v2 is also connected to uh, rest of the vertices so there is a one uh, everywhere in this row except for v2 because there is no self loop so similarly each and every element is decided depending upon the relationship among the vertices so that that's what adjacency matrix is and uh, now let's move on to the incidence matrix so in incidence matrix we are uh, we are bother about the vertex and uh, uh, corresponding edges so uh, you can see that uh, this vertex 1 is connected to E1 this edge then E8 this edge then E10 this edge and E5 so V1 is connected to edge 1 V1 is connected to edge 5 and uh, V1 is connected to edge 8 and edge 10 so we have 1 at these positions and remaining are 0 because they are not connected similarly at uh, the second vertex is connected to edge second edge edge 7 edge 6 and edge 1 so we have edge 1 edge 6 edge 7 and edge edge 2 oh, I missed this one so, uh, and the rest of them are 0 because they are not connected similarly for edge 4 and 5 we have uh, 1 edge 3 edge 4 edge 7 edge 10 and uh, edge 4 edge 5 edge 6 and edge 9 so in this way we draw incidence matrix it's it tells us about the relation uh, relationship among the vertex and the corresponding edges so that's it in this video thanks for watching guys do subscribe